Uh, and this is advanced, all right? So a lot of you beginners, you can try it, but uh, more of the pros will understand how this goes. It's out of the original Philly Shell, by the way, just posted the, the, uh, the promo, I gotta show it to you. The promo for the program, you wanna get it, cause it's from a real Philly Shell practitioner, all right? So what this is, is your opponent has thrown the jab and the right hand and you want to disengage. So you want to get out of the way, all right? So we're gonna try, we're gonna get mixed, me and him will get mixed up a little bit, So, but I'm gonna to try to give you the best view I can, all right? So from here, essentially the jab comes and you, you, you parry the jab and then the right hand comes and you, you slip the right hand, okay? So now we're gonna give you another view, maybe like this, I'm gonna show you my more attractive side, so we're gonna be here, all right? So the jab comes and I parry, and then the right hand comes and I'm here. Now I don't want to engage. I don't want to do any of this. So what I have to do is I have to know what, what he can do from the position he's in. Okay, I have to know what he can do from where he's at. So from here, once the jab comes, the right hand comes, he has two options. He has the left hook when I come out of it and he has the right hand. What I'm gonna do is this kind of movement. I'm gonna parry the, the jab duck under from the right hand, and I'm going to pivot around to my left, like this, and then straighten up. By me pivoting around to my left, I'm taking away his left hook, and by me blading, I'm taking away the right hand, and I'm moving out, okay? Seems simple, but it's not so simple. It's an advanced way to disengage when you don't want to mix it up. So we're going to do it very slow. So he jabs. Throws the right hand, I'm under. When I pivot around, right? When I pivot around, stay where you are. When I pivot around, I pivot this way and out. So we're gonna do it again from here, then I'll show you why I'm doing it. So the jab comes, right hand, I'm under. Then I pivot away and out like this, all right? So he's gonna do, he's gonna throw the left hook and the right hand, and we're gonna do it slow after I get under. And you'll see how this move takes away the options, all right? So we'll stay here. So slow, we go jab, right hand. Now, when I pivot out, he can throw this left hook or he can throw the right hand. Look where my glove is. When I come out, he throws the left hook and he throws the right hand. But I'm covered. Why? Because when I pivot out, I pivot out this way for the left hook and for the right hand already. So what's the difference? I'm not pivoting out this way. I'm not pivoting out square. I'm pivoting out, blading my body at the same time. He throws a jab, one, right hand, bang. I pivot out this way, okay? So this time we throw the jab, throw the cross. Now straighten up and throw the left hook, way out, bang, now the right hand. Good. Switch this way, do the same thing, so they can see. So you go one, one, two, and come out, bang, bang. Okay? That's how you get out when you don't want to engage. Essentially, one more time. You parry the jab, you duck under the right. Now, understand that I know where the right is because you don't want to go too far. You just want to let it ride on top of your shoulder. I know the right, excuse me, I know where the right hand is because it's essentially resting on my shoulder. Now just pull it back. I still see where it is. It's right here. I don't have to worry about the left hook because my hand is already here. So now the right hand comes over. I don't want to move back. I move back. He's throwing his punches. He's coming into me. I got to get him cut an angle. So he throws a jab. One. Cross one. I pivot out. Now when I pivot out, he may pivot and throw the left hook, but I'm covered. Now the right hand, and I'm covered. Okay? One more time. This way. He throws a jab. Cross. I pivot out, left hook, bang, right hand, bang. Okay? Last thing I do to get some room, I'll jab my way out to get room. So, we'll do it slow. He jab, cross. I pivot out, left hook, bang, right hand, and then I jab my way out, whop, whop. This time turn into me with the left hook. So I go one and two. Now I turn one, two, pop, pop and I'm back, okay? So that's good work. That's some advanced work for you. 
All right. How to parry the right hand, the left, the uh, left jab, get under the right hand and pivot, pivot around and back into position. Don't pivot out square. You pivot out square like this, jab, cross, pivot out square like this, why? Okay, you don't want to do that. Have your hand glued. Go, one, two, pivot, bang, bang. One more time on this side. You go, one, two, pivot, bang, bang. Okay, that's the real, authentic Philly shell. Not a whole lot of this, staying covered, knowing how to pivot. So, that's a freebie for you guys, some advanced boxing from St. Carmen and Wakar. See you next video. All right, peace. What up? No, you can't get it in box.
That's all right. For what? For the heavy. The head? For the heavy shot. That's okay. That don't bother me. So here's a move that I did called slip and slide. All right, you want to look at my feet. Uh, and my feet just back out for a minute, man. All right, if you look at my feet, there's a move where I went in and I went out. Now that particular video uh, that I just showed you, the clip that you saw before this one, uh, you will hear a shh, shh. That's what you hear, shh, shh. It's a slide. So you actually hear me slide in and slide out, all right? Uh, the one I did then when Muhammad was throwing a punch, I think he threw a jab and then it was a right hand and then another right hand. But in this case, we're gonna show you how to do it against a jab, a right hand, and a left hook. Uh, two names have, it, it's been referred to as slip and slide, and also a two-step. So again, what you're doing is, uh, Muhammad, please come in. Okay, he's gonna throw the jab slow, all right? Slow, Muhammad, all right? He's gonna throw the jab slow, <laughs> and you parry the jab first, now the right hand comes. Now when the right hand comes, all right, when the right hand comes, uh, watch my feet. When the right hand comes, you, you, your jab stays, I mean your right hand stays out. You slide in and crowd. So that's what you heard. You heard the slide. Okay? You slide. Now the left hook comes uh, straight across the head and you slide back, back into position. So you're basically getting this. That's what you're doing, all right? So, it's called the two-step. And many of you have said, okay, what I'm using is the Philly shell. I wanna say this, people didn't call it the Philly shell. I only call it the Philly shell because you call it the Philly shell because of Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather don't call it the Philly shell, all right? It is a way that people hold their hands and generally it came from old gym warriors. It didn't even come from professional fighters. It was gym warriors that did it to beat professional fighters. Professional fighters used to box like this. This was their stance. So when you see fighters fighting like this, that was a gym warrior style of fighting, all right? So I'm not using a Philly shell. This is not the Philly shell. This is basically just gym boxing, old school gym boxing. So we're gonna do it again, all right? So you will basically work on it by doing this. In, out, in, out. That's it. All right. One more time, and you can come up, back up from my feet to the, to the, to our torso. All right. The jab comes, the right hand comes, and slide in and crowd. 
the left hook comes across and slide back, all right? Throw the jab again. Okay, now the right hand comes and you slide in. Left hook comes and you slide back, all right? So we're going to do it a little faster, all right? Muhammad's going to go to my head a little faster, all right? Okay, the way you see me do this might be a little different than how I did in slow motion because that's just simply the reality of it, all right? So, Muhammad, you're going to throw jab, the right hand, and the left hook all up top to my head. All right? Okay. Ready? Go. Very good. All right? All right, come. Can you get us in the, you guys in the camera? Okay. You do it again. Go. One. Do it faster, Muhammad. Perfect. Perfect. Okay? Basically, you're sliding in and sliding out. All right? So, it's called the two-step or the slip and slide, all right? And you generally do that because you don't have a whole lot of space. Hopefully we got all that in. Uh, I wanna thank Muhammad, Muhammad Hill, the brother of Nasiba T. Hill, Save Carmen, Uma Fight Camp, Train Hard, Train Smart. We'll see you next video. My favorite. All right, come on. I'm going to the body and going to the head.
of money. That's what I get for switching southpaw on. Oh, you filming? No, I don't need to film. Woo! Dave say you want some. Who? No, Dave can get some. I'll just fuck you. Next month. Next month. Dave is quiet. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. This is all good. Got on big gloves. <laughs> uh, oh, what? <laughs> they got the win. Good game, bro. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Don't worry about it. That's okay. That's good. It's good. <laughs> don't worry about it. Because if, if that's love, love don't bother me. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Go. You're saying break and you moving forward. Because I'm trying to get you out of me. All right, all right. I don't think I'm trying to sneak you All right, all right. Don't sneak me. Now be careful with these guys.
Rick, Rick. Clean break, clean break. Okay. Uh. Ten. Five, seven. My bad. Down, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> 